गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ ए कंप्यूटर साइंस क्लास ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व सो लेसन इज कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज इंटरनेट यू सी अमंग द होल्ड वर्ल्ड सो मेनी कंप्यूटर्स आर देयर एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस आर देयर फॉर एग्जांपल सेल फोन लैपटॉप लाइक दैट सो इफ ऑल द डिवाइसेस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस आर इंटेग्रेटेड टूगेदर टू मेक ए कम्युनिकेशन मीन्स इट इज कॉल्ड एस इंटरनेट राइट ओके next we are going to see what is called intranet you see very simple in a company there will be a big server in the middle so from the server all the computers will be connected okay so that whatever the information stored in the server will be received by all the systems got it so this kind of setup is called as intranet okay fine now we are going to see what is the difference between internet and intranet okay so internet the expansion is international network or the expansion it is international network okay then intranet means internal restricted access network what is internet expan expansion internal restricted access network and in internet it can be used by anyone anyone who has a cell phone with internet connection can use the internet right but whereas intranet can be used by only employees or managers of a specific company who providing internet got it okay then uh, difficult to restrict the access in internet you see i already told you that it can be used by anyone internet can be used by anyone okay so uh, restricting the access is very very difficult in internet okay whereas in extranet outside network can be blocked or restricted you see intranet means only inside the company communication so that any network uh, or any other hackers was trying to come inside means it will be blocked it will be blocked or restricted okay fine then using internet is less secure because anyone can access anyone may be a hacker so it is less secure then secure from hackers using firewall in intranet okay since we are using only internal communications so it is it will be secure from hackers using firewall so any uh, other uh, communications coming from outside network means the firewall will block that data okay so intranet is highly secure from hackers okay fine the authentication is not required the authentication is not required for intranet okay that means um, you see to uh, to search your general information in internet it doesn't need any username and password okay anybody can open the browser and they can uh, <coughs> search any information okay no username and password is required for using general internet okay whereas authentication is required in internet that means username and password is compulsory required to access the internet even though it is internal communication within a company the authentication is required such that there won't be any data uh, hacking okay fine so internet can be accessed from anywhere you see uh, in any part of the world you can use any computer or you can use any cell phone or you can use any laptop if you have internet connection you can access the internet right but whereas if you want to access the internet means it can be accessed from only the company systems you have to go to that company and from that company systems only you have you can able to access the intranet got it so these are the difference between internet and intranet okay fine and now we are going to see packet switching you see you can see on left side on computer and in the right side another one computer okay i want to uh, <coughs> i want to uh, send the message from computer 
left side to the computer right side okay i want to send a message from a computer in left side to the computer in right side that means you see one single uh, data will be divided into two packets got it once again i'm saying one single message is divided into two or three or four packets okay so each packet will choose different different path okay can you see the packet one data will choose a different path to reach to reach the destination and packet two data will choose a different path to choose the destination okay for example you see um one uh, <coughs> okay let me go to the next point now we are going to circuit switching okay uh you can see on source computer and you can see on destination computer okay so um the information travel from the source to destination it will choose a separate path okay and using the same path all the information you see the blue information the green information and the red information all the information are go through only the same path got it so this kind of uh, method is called as circuit switching once again i'm saying a source computer is there a destination computer is there okay so among so many path you see uh, the source can choose a b d e g and destination okay or the source can choose a d g then destination or it can choose a c d g then destination okay so uh, from the source computer to the destination computer the message can pass in any any kind of form in any path it can it can choose but in that specific path only all the data will be flowing through got it so this is called as circuit switching so now we are going to see what is the difference between the circuit switching and packet switching physical path between source and destination a yeah, physical wired path is there between the two computers or two landline connection got it a physical wired path is there in circuit switching there be no physical wired path there may be a satellite connections okay then all packets use the same path you see in circuit in circuit switching the blue data the green data then red color data all the three kind of data are choose the same path okay whereas in packet switching the packet travel in different different path the packets will travel independently or the packets will choose different different path here you can see the packet one the packet one choose a different path and packet two choose a different path okay so this kind of uh, different path choosing is called as packet switching next it is reserved the entire bandwidth in advance you see uh, can you see in circuit switching there is a path is there okay so that the entire bandwidth will be reserved okay for a particular uh, number of time until the data is reached from a computer to b computer okay whereas in packet switching it does not reserved any path since it is going uh, all the packets are going in different different path we are not reserving any particular path okay fine so you see in circuit switching we uh, the bandwidth is wastage why means you see uh, a particular path we are reserved no suppose a particular number of time we are not using uh, a particular time means that time and that bandwidth will be wastages okay uh, so but there is no bandwidth wastage in packet switching you see we are not reserving any path okay whenever the data is there we will send otherwise we won't send okay so there will be a no bandwidth wastage no store and forward transmission you see there uh, since we are having a reserved path we are not storing it anywhere we are having a reserved road or we are having a reserved path to uh, travel the information so we are not store and forward in 
circuit switching whereas it supports store and forward transmission you see for example um, the packets will be transferred from a computer to b computer in between some computers will be there it will help to transmit that computer will store the information in main in main memory and then forward then another computer will help for transmission that computer also will store the information in main memory and then it will transfer so in circuit switching no store and forward transmission in packet switching store and forward the data transmission so these are the difference between circuit switching and packet switching okay now you are going to see what is the difference between the fiber optic and coaxial cable you see in fiber optics can you see a light beams will be traveled okay but you can see the coaxial cable in between there is a copper wire is there that copper wire can able to um, transmit electrical signals whereas in fiber optical it will transmit the light beam got it okay so in coaxial cable the transmission signals takes place in electrical form over the inner conductor of the cable you see you see the coaxial cable you can see the copper wire in the copper wire electrical signals will be flowing through okay fine whereas you come to fiber optical the signal transmission takes place in the optical forms over the glass fiber you see can you see in uh, optical fiber there are so many uh, pipe like structure is there that is called as optical glass fiber through the glass fiber light beams will be flowing through okay fine and the next is coaxial cable having higher noise immunity than twisted pa twisted pair cable you see this coaxial cable is better than twisted pair cable okay but the optical fiber ha is better than twisted pair and also it is better than coaxial cable okay because it has high immunity to noise you see what is called noise means unwanted information uh, a data is transferred from one computer to another computer means okay whatever we sent the exact we had to receive from the uh, receiving end suppose if you are uh, receiving some extra unwanted information means that is called as noise so there won't be any noise in fiber optical cable since we are using light beams okay next in coaxial cable it is less affected due to electrical sorry the coaxial cable is less affected due to external magnetic field you see very simple in your home you are using computer mains um cpu is there then monitor is there then ups is there all the three you are may, may keep it very close means since ups has very uh, very big battery is there very big magnetic field field is there if you are keep the ups nearby the monitor means the monitor will get affected got it got my point if any uh, heavy magnet if you keep near uh, nearby a monitor means that magnet will affects the monitor will, uh, will affects the display okay like that the coaxial cable is affected it will be lessly affected by the external magnetic field whereas if you bring any magnetic substance near by the optical fiber means it won't be get affected by the external magnetic field okay right next next it is the coaxial cable is moderate expensive i won't say it is cheap it is moderate expensive whereas fixing an optical fiber is highly expensive because we need uh, a technical team to install the optical fiber okay without a technical team we can't install if we try to install means it may get fragile that means it may get broken okay so it is highly expensive then in coaxial cable it is moderately high bandwidth you see it, uh, they are saying it has high uh, moderate bandwidth but the optical fiber has very high bandwidth that means within within a short span of time okay within a short span of time we can able to 
transmit even 2 gigabits per second. Within a second, we can able to transmit 2 gigabits per second using fiber optical cable. Whereas in coaxial cable, we can able to transmit only a uh, few hundreds of megabits per second. Okay, so coaxial can cable able to transmit a uh, few hundreds of megabits, but in fiber optical we can able to transmit even gigabits in seconds. Okay, so coaxial cable the authentication is low. Anyone wants to hack your system means the authentication will be very very low. But if you are using fiber optical cable means the authentication is uh, authentication is low in fiber optical it is very low okay the authentication is even though it is uh, fiber optics it is authentication is very very low okay then coaxial cable the installation is fairly easy you see since the uh, coaxial cable wire it won't get broken it won't get broken okay which one coaxial cable so the installation is very very easy but whereas fixing an optical fiber under the ground it is very very difficult why means it may get broken okay so installation is very very difficult that's why i tell to install the optical fiber we need a technical team okay next we are going to see bitrate you see uh, in your cell phones if you are watching if you are watching the youtube means you can choose the video resolution even you can choose the 240 pixels or 340 pixels or 720 pixels okay according to your um, cho usage of pixels uh, i mean according to your usage of video resolution your internet gb will be uh, getting decreased getting decreased okay so if you use 240 pixel means your video bitrate will be 300 kilobits per second okay your uh, uh, your internet loss will be 300 kilobits per second suppose if you are using hd 720 pixels means as the video resolution means um, per second per second you may lose 1500 kilobits okay suppose you were if you are seeing full hd 1080 pixels as your video resolution means you may lose per second 3000 kilobits okay so got it you have now you can got the basic information about the bitrate so bitrates what is the formula means bitrate is equal to number of bits per second okay now what is the you see it's a very important question it's an important one more question bitrate is equal to number of bits per second whereas baud rate means it is number of signal per second what is called signal you see uh, can you see the analog signal um, one upper bend and one lower bend okay so upper bend and lower bend is together called as one signal so number of signals transferred uh, within a second that is called as baud rate got it okay and this is one more question name any two transmission media for networking the answer is optical fiber satellite or coaxial cable like that you can among the three you can write any two okay what is the answer optical fiber satellite and fiber optic cable then uh, ethernet cable okay right so this uh, these two are the main answers optical fiber and satellite are the two transmission media for networking shall we go for the next one okay so state any two reasons for which you may like to have a network of computers instead of having standalone computers you see uh, they are asking the reasons why you like internet or why you like network they are asking the reasons why you like internet or why you like like a network okay the answer is i like the internet or i like the network because it helps the user to share the data files because it helps the user to share the data files between the systems then it allows the user to communicate with one another it allows the user to communicate to, to make a message transaction or a file transaction or any basic communication or chat between the two systems or two devices got it so hope you understand thank you very much